All right guys, so I'm finally getting around to doing a toolbox tour. I've had a bunch of you guys ask about seeing a tour of my boxes and everything that I have in them. So let's go ahead and start with the boxes themselves. I have four 44 inch US General boxes here and then I have them all linked together. On these two end ones that I did first, I actually ended up making some aluminum spacers that makes it to where I can bolt them together and they're connected. These ones I haven't had too long, but I do not have plates made for them yet. There's a little bit more of a gap here. That's because the concrete floor is not completely flat, so that makes them not sit flat as far as up next to the other boxes. So I do need to make the other spacers and get these end two bolted together, but that is the four of them. They work really good. I love having the boxes, having four of them against the wall here. You have a nice workspace up on top. And then not all of these are full of tools. The N1 is more of a supplies box. I'll show you that later on. I am thinking about getting two more potentially and getting rid of that bench that is full of random crap because I don't really use it for what I'm wanting and I, you know, I need a little bit more space for supplies. Also on a side note, the main reason why I went with these boxes versus the others or maybe the 70, 72 inch is I like the drawer layout on these quite a bit more than the others. So that's why I got these as well as these have the detents in them versus the little latches on the slide uh, side of them. I absolutely hate those little latches. I like the detents more. So that's why I got this series of box. So let's go ahead and start going through these. I'm just going to go along all four boxes and go one by one and we'll go through the drawers. This first, first drawer up here is full of all my power tools. I'm kind of running down a room. Um, that's probably where the other boxes are going to come from. That way I have more space to put more power tools. If you're curious on any of these power tools, I did a video. I'll have that in the link in the description. And I might toss in the links to some of the tools that I have in all these boxes as well. So you can go check that out if you want. So the next drawer here is full of pliers and adjustable end wrenches, stuff related with that. I got some crimpers for electrical, um, stuff that I'm doing as far as electrical goes. And then the next drawer is full of screwdrivers. I just got these icons. I have not used those hardly at all yet so don't really have any feedback on those i got these random like i'm guessing china made ones that i got when i was a lot younger i use those all the time my dog was nice enough to chew up that one so that's good and then just some husky ones so those work pretty good then in the next drawer i've got hammers in here a bunch of different kinds hammers are really expensive so i haven't gotten too buck wild with it but they have definitely been used quite a bit and they work well in here I have a bunch of drilling stuff. I got some drill bit sets as well as some random drill bits down there. And then the next drawer here is not very full. I got some more of these but they're not in here at the moment. And these things are sweet. If you're doing any tube work you can uh, form these to a bend and then you can trace it on the piece of pipe and notch it and cut it out to that size. The bottom drawer here has a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in it, mainly power tools. These are uh, corded drills that I don't use so often. An extra charger here. This is a bag full of some Craftsman tools as well as a puller that is not supposed to be in here. Now onto the side drawers. I got all my punches in here, picks, um, more punches with handles, brushes, stuff for uh, cleaning gaskets off, and some drilling holes, and then easy outs. All sorts of stuff related with that. Oh, if you don't have one of these tools, I definitely recommend getting one of these. These are great for taking off hoses or stuff you just need to get in there to break it free with. They work awesome. And then I got my Allen head or my Allen wrenches drawer. Kind of a mess right now. I wish I had a better way to organize these little guys. These things are awesome. I use them all the time. Try to keep the rest of it organized, but it is kind of a mess at the moment. That's fine. Then this is kind of an electrical drawer. I got my uh, multimeter here and my uh, test light there. These work pretty good if you're doing any battery terminal stuff. I use the crap out of these alligator clips, you know, for testing electrical systems or trying to find some problems. I would like to get a power probe down the road. That is high on my list. I have a lot of things that I could use that for, but I have not gotten one yet. So hopefully soon. Then I got a, a thermometer, a laser thermometer. This thing is great if you have any like misfires you can check for uh check the heat on the headers or manifolds to see where the misfire is coming from and then this is kind of a measurement drawer i use these all the time for uh laying things out bolt holes and circles stuff like that where i need to cut got an angle finder here 
that I use for tube work or other random stuff. And then this drawer has my sawzall blades and air tools and tire chucks, stuff like that. Kind of messy. This bottom one here is full of cutting disc, a couple other uh, angle grinders. It's just kind of full of random stuff. I got my wire wheels there in the back. On a side note, guys, there's a bunch of tools that I do not have in these boxes that I have over at Corey's house or over at my dad's, just different places I've been using them. So I need to get those brought back over here and put into the boxes. All right, onto the second box. In the top drawer here, I have all my sockets. These are all Icon. If you want to see more of these, I have a couple videos that I did on the Icon tools that I got here. Got all my ratchets over here as well as breaker bars. There is some Craftsman stuff in here. I still use that, so I have those in there for when I need them. In the next drawers here, I have my end wrenches. These are SAE. I got both my re regular ones as well as my stubbies and ratchets. And then this drawer is full of the metric stuff. Also here on the side ones, like the top here is SAE, and then I have my SAE bigger stuff as well as my crow's foot. And then same with the next one, that is the metric, uh, bigger end wrenches and crow's foot. So that would be the top part of this box. In this drawer, I have my Rivnut tool. I'd like to do a giveaway on one of these someday. They are a sweet tool to use, especially if you do any sheet metal stuff. Got my torque wrenches over here. I would like to get the snap-on one. I'm not a big snap-on guy, but I've used my dad's uh, snap-on torque wrench and it works freaking great. So maybe someday I'll get one of those. And this is full of random flashlights that I need to get rid of. Down here I have some pry bars. I have a bunch more of these that I need to get put in the box. Um, they're just a little bit too long for this drawer, so I'll have to find a different spot for them. Down here we have a bunch of random stuff. I have pullers and uh, balancer installers. This is a snap ring set. That's a bearing puller and spreader. So more of the specialty tools down there. And then in this drawer, also again, a bunch of random stuff. We've got field connector fitting uh, tools right here, as well as AC line stuff. Um, this is a brake flaring kit or a flaring kit for whatever you need. And then I need to get some more of these uh, shears. I only have that one and it's worked for now, but I want to get some more. That, that way I can do different angles and whatnot. This is more polar stuff. I have quite a few of these. Um, I tend to, on some of this stuff, I need to grind or modify the ends to fit certain things. So it's really nice having all these extra arms so I can do that. And then in this drawer, kind of more specialty stuff. Got some valve spring compressors. This is more or less for small engines. Got a clutch alignment tool that I never use. Got all these ones over here from doing different clutches. I always save those in case I need them. Need them. This is a roller for applying like sound deadening oil filter stuff, compressors, um, this is a cam install tool, and then this is a priming tool for your distributor, so you can prime the oil system before you start the engine. So as you can see by the first two boxes, I could definitely stand to do some organizing. I have some drawers that have stuff in them that are just kind of not placed very well, so I'd like to get back to changing that around sometime down the road. When I got these boxes, I kind of just threw all the tools in them and I didn't organize them quite how I wanted. So I need to address that a little bit later. But on to the third box here. It is another drawer full of sockets. I have, uh, these are all the Icon Impact sockets. I need to get some more rails like what I have over here. I will have a link down in the description to, uh, to these rails if you want to check those out and get some. They work really well, so I want to get some for over here to put all the impacts on. They're just kind of sitting in the trays that they come with for now. Over here on this side, I have my three-quarter drive stuff. I actually use this stuff pretty frequently. I have both SAE and metric, and then I have some torque sticks. These are great uh, if you're changing wheels and tires quite a bit. You can just pop those on and get them torqued to what you want. This stuff is really handy. I use those quite often for bigger stuff that I don't have the sizes I need in the half-inch drive. And then moving on, this uh, this box right here is going to have a lot of just random overflow tools in them. This is a 3-H uh, drive socket set, and then these are more power tools. This is why I need more room for the power tools, because they're just kind of overflowing into here. So that's the snap-on snap -on stuff there. More alligator clips. use these a lot, and I like to put them in each vehicle, so I have extras. 
And then this is a lot of metric bolt stuff. So I keep those kind of set right here at the moment. That way I have extra metric bolts. Down here is more or less just some supplies, random crap. Got a couple of Chilton manuals from a long time ago. Extra CV and power cables. Not too much going on in that drawer. Over here, once again, some random stuff. Need to uh, go through these and kind of clean them out and put more stuff in them. These are some air tools that I never use. I do use that hacksaw once in a while. That works good. This is a die grinder set with some uh, ends, stud finder, crap like that. This uh, box is definitely more or less the random box of stuff. So this last box I have pretty much just for supplies. Um, I don't have any tools in here per se. It is mainly just a supply box. Got all my wiring up in this top drawer because I'm always needing wiring for something. So I got extras that I've saved from other vehicles. This is my electrical connector drawer more or less. So I try to keep this stocked up. That way I'm, I'm not having to run to the store when I need it, especially if I'm working at night and they are closed. Got a bunch of these containers, got P-clamps in here. You use these for hanging stuff on the wall like airlines. These are great for zip ties, stick them to stuff. And then a bunch of plastic connectors in there. Next drawer here has lug nuts and got these uh, air down deflators that I uh, really need to get to selling sometime. Just kind of a all around collect all. This one is empty. I'm probably gonna put some bolts in here or more bolts. We got some metric bolts along the side there. It is ready to go for some more supplies. This is most definitely a giant junk drawer full of stuff that I, uh, for some reason, didn't want to get rid of. So I kept it because you never know if you're going to need it. This drawer is full of wire loom. I love this uh, braided split loom. Stuff works awesome. And down here I have some uh, heat uh, sleeving stuff to keep the temperatures down. This drawer is full of all my uh, RTV stuff and my thread locker. Bunch of random stuff in there, JB Weld, super glue. This is my zip tie drawer, which is sweet. Can't go wrong with zip ties, that's how you fix something correctly, as they always say. Got my uh, hose clamp drawer. Those are all ones I've saved off vehicles. Got a bunch of other random stuff in here. I use this stuff for like AC boxes getting those sealed up wire use this for bunch of random stuff hanging stuff for paint hanging up calipers when you're working on brakes this is just kind of a uh, stickers and manuals drawer with some extra random stuff and the last drawer here is full of all the stuff that came with the box and another rail so not too much going on there and i'm kind of running out of room in this supply box so i'm hoping to get another one down the road and i can put all my other supplies that I have that are just kind of hanging out around the shop. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up the toolbox tour video. Make sure you hit that like button and drop a comment down below if you have any tool storage organizational ideas or any products out there you'd like to see me try. I love doing some of the organizational stuff. It makes it a little bit easier when you're working out in the shop when you can find your tools and they're nice and organized. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.